Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a really, really cool trick. I'm going to show you how to insert checkboxes in your Microsoft Word document. So if you have a to-do list, like I've got mine in front of me, all I need to do is research my topics, record my videos, edit my videos, upload my videos, publish my videos, and spread the knowledge. That's a lot of stuff to do. So how do I keep track? The first thing we want to do is go over to File on the top left-hand side, and we want to navigate all the way down to Options. Now, once we are here in Options, Options, we want to look for advanced um, underneath advanced you'll get customize ribbon now underneath customize ribbon on the right hand side you will be able to customize the ribbon and we want to select the main tabs right now once you are here you will go and have a look for developer now this must have a blue tick so that we can enable it and we can have our developer options once this is enabled we're going to go ahead and tap on OK now, once we have tapped on OK, you will see at the top of our ribbon, we will have developer. Now, what we need to do is tap on it and then just make sure that your cursor is where you would like your checkbox. Now, just under controls, you can see that there is a little block with a tick in it and this is a check box. We're going to tap on that. Now, what you can do is go ahead and insert your checkboxes wherever you would like to. So I'm going to insert them just on the left hand side of all of um, these over here. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and um, you can click on it and it will actually get an X inside of it, right? So maybe this is not what we actually want. Maybe we want a check inside this box. So what we're going to do is once it's selected, you're going to go back to controls and tap on properties. Here, you can see at the bottom it says checked symbol, and that is what the symbol is. Now, what we can do is we can change that, and um, from the drop-down menu, the font, we want to go down to Wingdings. And once we're down in Wingdings, we are going to go and scroll all the way to the bottom, and here are some check marks. So there is a check mark without a box surrounding it, and then there is a check mark with a box around it you can choose and pick whatever it is that you would prefer you can go ahead and tap on ok and then you can also change the unchecked symbol and what that looks like so for now we're going to leave it as is we're going to tap on ok now once we tap it you can see that we've researched our topic and that is done and you can continue as you go along your to-do list or whatever else you need to insert your checkboxes into. If this was a super awesome video, drop us a big old thumbs up. We will see you next time. Cheers.